Hi guys, welcome back to another video with me, Connor at Deja Vu. Um, today we have a very special video in store for you. We're going to be making our infamous, famous, infamous, infamous tiramisu cocktail. Now, this is definitely the cocktail we get most requested for recipe wise on Instagram. Um, I'm not giving it out to anyone yet, so you're all the first to see how it's been made. You're welcome. It's so tasty. It's, I wanna say it's a bit more of an intermediate cocktail. It's not as easy as like a um, uh, espresso martini or a porn star martini. It is a bit more complicated. We use, the main spirit is El Dorado 5. So it's a five year aged rum. It's absolutely delicious and it gives that kind of like richness and smoothness to the drink which just ultimately benefits it in total. We're also going to be using Mozart dark chocolate liqueur. Now I'm not sure if you've actually tried this. It's literally like drinking liquid dark chocolate. It's unbelievable. It smells incredible. It's just, it's just ridiculously good. It's not that expensive either. I think you can get it on Amazon, so have a check on there. If not, they definitely do it on Master of Malt. Also vegan and gluten-free. We're also gonna be using Disserano, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with, so Italian liqueur, um, very sweet, like, like um, um, what's the word? Mas um, marzipan type flavor, um, delicious. We're also gonna be using Liquor 43, so I don't know if you've heard of that. So it's a Spanish vanilla liqueur, really tasty, really vanilla-y, and it's also quite strong at 31% for a liqueur. So that's amazing. And also we are going to be using Kahlua. So just to help add with a coffee rich flavor. Um, if you haven't got Kahlua, feel free to use Tia Maria as a substitute, it works just as well. Um, we've also got our mascarpone. So I've used two bar spoons, which is probably just a little bit smaller than a tablespoon. So two largish dollops. Um, if you use too much or too less, it's fine. Um, I think a lot of people get quite scared when making cocktails if they've put in too much or not enough. I think everyone just needs to have fun with it. And that's the whole point of, of mixology and you know, chefing in general, it's just to have fun with it and experiment and see what you guys can come up with. You know, you might like it more creamier or not as creamy and that's fine. Um, I'm making it how we make it in the restaurant and how I, how I like it, but feel free to have a play around. And you know, if you wanted to use a different product, if you don't like rum, try it with vodka. See what it has. Actually, drop a comment in the um, comment box down below. If you are making it with a different product, let me know what it is. Um, and I will give it a try as well and see, and see what it tastes like. You can have a little comparison then. We're also going to be using a double shot of fresh espresso. So I've got that ready to go. Now that's the key to this cocktail. You need really good quality espresso that creates that, I don't know if you can see it, but obviously that, that lovely golden crema that you get from an espresso. Um, filter coffee might work, but I'd highly suggest using espresso if you can, even if you've got like a pod machine, but if not, try it with um, um, like cafe tier coffee, just not instant coffee, because it would just, it would, it'll be horrendous. It won't work and you can't blame me then. Um, so we're also gonna do something to the glass as well, the outside of the rim. We're gonna coat it in a white chocolate liqueur and then sprinkle cocoa powder on it, which will ultimately stick to the glass. So when you're sipping, you can either sip to it, sip part of it that hasn't got chocolate on it or with it, add in another layer of you know, dimension and, and, and an extra bit of flair to your cocktail, if you will, which will ultimately impress your guests if you're hosting on the weekend. Um, so I'm gonna put everything in the shaker first, get it all loaded up, and then I'll get the glassware ready. I'll show you how to do that. So we're gonna take our large shaker first, and then I am gonna start with my El Dorado. So we're gonna use 20 milliliters. So pour that straight in. And then we're gonna go with Mozart dark chocolate. That's just incredible. It's so, so chocolatey. We're gonna add 10 mil of that. And then we're gonna go over the liquor 43. So the Spanish vanilla liqueur. We are adding 10 mil of that again. And then Disserano. So we're gonna do 7.5 mil of that. 
Um, if your jigger hasn't got the indents or the, the uh, markings that mine has to in inform you where 15 mil is, um, just try and eye up, just you know, do, do your best to get 7.5. If you get a little bit more, a little bit less, again, it, it, it doesn't really matter. You're just gonna have a little bit more, more sweetness and um, marzipan-y type flavor. But ultimately, that's what a tiramisu is, is isn't it? So, this, like, I don't know if I said in the beginning, this, this cocktail is literally like a liquid tiramisu. It's just, it's just unbelievable. It's a recipe that I came up with probably around two, three years ago, and I've kept it on all of my menus since we've opened, which has just been over a year now. But every time we've done a pop-up in a local restaurant or, or somewhere else, it's always been my staple because it's just, it's just incredible. It's just such a crowd pleaser and people really seem to respond well to it. And we get so many, so many compliments. And as I said, it is definitely the most requested recipe cocktail for a cocktail we, we serve. So um, we're doing something right with it. Um, next, we're gonna do um, Kahlua. So again, 10 mil of that straight in. And then the mascarpone, straight in. Um, before I add the coffee, because it is hot, I'm just gonna fill my shaker about halfway with ice. And then I'm gonna pour the coffee straight in. This will just stop the spirit and the cream from melting and burning or getting a little bit too warm, which could alter the flavors in it. So adding ice will just chill it almost instantly. So I'll get rid of that. I'll pop my shaker on for the moment. I'll just pop that to the side and then I'll show you how we, how we set up the glass. So for this one, we're sticking to our beautiful coupe glassware. Absolutely stunning again. You, you would know by now if you've watched the other videos that I'm not a fan of martinis. I think coupe glasses are just that much more beautiful and they look, you know, that they get more comments on them if you're having a party or, some, or, or something like that. So definitely invest in a nice set of coupe glasses. So as I mentioned, we're gonna spray it with um, a white chocolate liqueur. You can do it with a sugar syrup. Sugar syrup, is good, but it has a shelf life. Ultimately, if it's in the fridge for too long, it's gonna go off, chocolate liqueur doesn't. So if you've opened it and you haven't used it for a month, it's still gonna be good. So you're gonna to wanna to decant it into like a nice little spray bottle, like so. And then just so we can see, we're gonna get it and we're just gonna ever so gently just spray the outside of, of the glass, like so. And then we're gonna get some cocoa powder Um, and then we're just gonna sprinkle it over it. I don't know if you can see that. It is a bit messy, so definitely do it over a sink. And just give it a little tap to release any extra. But what you're gonna end up with is this beautiful chocolate covered glass. That is just amazing. Don't worry if it's a little bit patchy, it's all good. It adds to the rustic, rustic feel. But very beautiful. Um, right, so now we've got the glass prepped, the contents are in the shaker. We're gonna give it a really hard shake and we're gonna double strain it because the mascarpone will have little lumps in it. So we're just gonna make sure that that's all filtered out by using our tea strainer as well as our Hawthorne strainer. So, grab the cocktail. Nice, good shake, get it all frothy. Oh my God, it's so tasty. And then we are literally just gonna pour it in. Look at that. Liquid gold, that is. I already can't wait to drink this. Oh. Give it a little tap if you're starting to fill up and that would just help. Release all the liquid inside the strainer. I'm not gonna fill it too much while we're trying to overflow it. I'll pop that in the sink. And that is that. Look at that, guys. That is just incredible. Amazing. Cheers. That is so good. Mmm. Proper tasty, that is. Um, have a go, see what you come out like. I hope it comes out well for you. If you've enjoyed it and you've liked the video, please 
give me a thumbs up. Um, give us a, a subscribe as well, it means a lot. If you haven't already, give us a follow on social media as well. Uh, you can find us on social media at Deja Vu Hereford uh, on, on Facebook and Insta. Um, but yeah, tag, tag us in your, your recipes below and how you got on, I'd love to, love to hear it. Cheers. I'm, I'm taking this one with me as well. Okay.